Hello everyone and welcome back to Journey to Med. If you are new here, my name is Hazal and I'm a second year medical student studying at Bart Center London. And if you are not new here, thank you so much for tuning back into another video. As you can see, I am back with another iPad video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Notability. For all of you that do not know, Notability is an amazing note-taking app that I have been using on my iPad Pro from about March, and I absolutely love it. It's amazing to take notes on for lectures at university, and I think it has really facilitated my learning. Let's get started. So I've just opened the Notability app and now I can show you all of its great features. Let's start by going onto the home page where you can view all your notes. So as you can see, here I have all my notes that I have made over the last few months. You can organize your notes into different subjects and then those subjects into different dividers. So I have a divider called year one and under my year one divider, I have subjects such as fun med PBLs, CR PBLs, etc. If you press the edit button on the top left, you can change the order that your dividers appear in and also the order that your subjects appear in within each divider. If you press the share button, and then pick one of your notes, you can send these notes off via different apps such as Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. You have the option to share your notes in different formats including PDF, Notes, Image or RTF. And if you just press the add button at the top, you can add a new subject or a new divider. Now, if we press the settings button, there are lots of different settings you can control. For example, an about section, an auto backup section, a section where you can manage your accounts such as Dropbox or Google Drive. You can also turn on iCloud syncing, which means you can have your notes across all your devices. You can have the app in the light theme, the dark theme, or the dark blue theme and you can also purchase different themes which I'll show you later on. You also have the option to make each of your subjects colourful. If you press on the document setting, you can change your default notes title and also your default notes paper. If you go into the typing setting, you can change the default font, style, size and colour of text that you add to your notes. If you go into the handwriting setting, we have lots of different settings, for example, straight lines, which means that if you draw a straight line with a pen or a highlighter and continue to hold it down, it will automatically straighten up the line. There's also shape detection, which means if you draw a shape and hold your pen down, it will be detected. There's tap and hold where you can zoom in, left-handed mode for left-handed users, and also palm detection so that you can rest your palm anywhere on the iPad whilst writing. You have the ability to add a password to your notes so that they are all safe on all your devices. You can turn on keep iPad awake so that the iOS sleep timer will be ignored and your iPad will not turn off. There's also a speech to text setting and you can decide how slow or how fast this happens. And also with web clips, you can also add a password. Click on this question mark button if you want to go onto the Notability website if you need some help. And then if you click on this button, this is one of the new features of Notability and it is the new Notability shop. This shop allows you to purchase different things such as different themes including fall, summer, spring as well as handwriting recognition. You can also purchase digital life planners which are coming soon and sticker packs including the Bloom pack and the Back to School Basics pack. If you click on this bin icon, you can access all the notes that you have recently deleted. You can also search for your notes, for example, if you cannot remember the title, you can search a specific word and any notes with that word in the title or in your notes in general will come up. You can click this button to import any notes you may have from elsewhere and then this button on the top right to start a new note. Once you open up your notes, again on the top left you have the ability to share your notes by your different platforms and in different formats. Press the T and then turn on draw text box which will allow you to draw a text box and then add any text to your notes. Once you have typed your sentence, you can change the font, style, size and colour of your text. If you press on these hearts, you can automatically turn the text into your favourite styles that you have saved. And you can even add numbers, bullet points or checklists to your text. And if you come off of the text and then press on it again, you're able to re-edit it. And you can also change the type of paper and colour of paper for that text box. Now, if you press on the pen icon, you have the ability to pick pens of different colours and different thicknesses. As you can see here, I am showing you some of the different examples of the different thicknesses you can have. 
You also have the option to pick a pressure sensitive pen, which is the pen on the right, and a non-pressure sensitive pen, which is the one on the left. This is the non-pressure sensitive pen, which has the same thickness throughout. And then this is the pressure sensitive one, which as you can see, with more pressure gets thicker and less pressure gets thinner. You have multiple color options for pens and also have the ability to create your own colors. I'll get back to this favorites feature later on in the video. Aside from the ability to draw normal lines, you also have the ability to draw dashed lines or dotted lines. This is a new feature on Notability. We also have highlighters, which again have a variety of thicknesses and a variety of colors. With the eraser, we have the option to pick a whole eraser and also a partial eraser. The whole eraser will erase the whole object that you have drawn as soon as you touch it, whereas the partial eraser erases single pixels. And like with the pens and the highlighters, the erasers also come in a variety of thicknesses. This scissor tool allows you to select certain objects on your notes. If you pick the one on the left, it allows you to precisely draw around certain objects and then move them around, reshape them, etc. However, if you pick the rectangular one, it allows you to draw rectangles around certain objects and move them like that. And then the pointer button allows you to move through your notes. The arrow button at the top allows you to undo something you have done. However, if you hold on it, then you can also redo it as well. You also have the option to use three fingers and swipe left to undo and use three fingers and swipe right to redo. There is also a recording feature on Notability, which is really, really popular. It allows you to record audio whilst taking your notes. And when you go to re-listen to your audio, it will show you at what position within your notes you are in. Hello. My name is Hazel. And if I play it. Hello. My name is Hazel. You have the option to turn notes replay and animation preview on or off. If you press the add button at the top, you can add different types of media, including photos from your library, use the camera, scan in documents, add GIFs, like the one you can see now, and also add web clips. Here is how you add web clips. You simply drag the URL of the website onto your notes, and then this page should come up. Once you find the page you want, you can crop it and add it to your notes. And then later on, if you come onto these notes, and press edit clip, you can then have the video up again, which is an easy way of adding videos to your notes. You can also add stickies to your notes and have them in different colors and also different paper types, including lined and dotted paper. Press the three dots in the top right corner and then press paper to change the color of your notes and also the type of paper you are writing on. There are lots of different color options and paper types you can pick from, including thin lines, thick lines, dotted, gridded, etc. If you press view, you can also choose if you want to view it in a seamless manner, where it's one continuous page, or single pages, where you can flick through the notes like a book. You can also find out a bit more info about the app and also get help here. If you press the stack of pages in the top right corner, you can see all the different pages that make up the specific notes you are on. This allows you to navigate yourself around the different pages. You can also add bookmarks to pages and also search for specific words within your specific notes to find exactly what you are looking for instantly. So as you can see, here I searched clearance and all the different times I have written clearance had been highlighted on my notes so I could find them easily. Now to show you guys the new favorites feature. This feature is honestly amazing and allows you to add your favorite pens, your favorite highlighters and your favorite erasers to a tab that you can easily access. Simply pick the pen, highlighter or eraser that you want and press add to favorites as I am doing now. And then you can make your notes very quickly without having to go to the top to change your pens and instead can use this little tab of your favorite pens and switch between them effortlessly. This allows you to make your notes quickly and make your experience on Notability that bit better. You can also move this tab to the left, to the right, bottom, top, wherever you find most convenient. If you want to get rid of anything, simply use the scissors tool, press it and press delete as I am doing now.
Earlier on, I mentioned the shape detection feature on Notability. And this is simply when you draw a shape and if you hold down your pen, the shape will be detected and you can change its size as you wish. This allows you to quickly draw whatever shape you want without worrying about it being too neat as Notability will make the shape neat for you anyway. This is the same for when you are drawing straight lines on your notes. A new feature has also been added where the same thing applies to drawing curves and arrows. So if you draw a curve, don't worry about it not being too neat as Notability will make it neat for you as long as you hold down on the curve. And again, this feature also applies to the highlighter. If you want to view more than one note on Notability at the same time, simply swipe towards the right, press the three dots and press view on your left or view on your right. And then both notes will be on the same page at the same time and you can scroll through each of them individually and add to each one individually. Of course, we cannot forget the essentials. If you want to change the title of your notes, simply press the top and type in the title you wish. And one last thing we are going to discuss is this zoom feature. If you press the magnifying glass, this little rectangle will pop up and it allows you to move around your notes and add small details that you might not be able to do if you are not zoomed in. That is about it, guys. I really, really do hope you found this video helpful and you have been able to learn about all the different features that Notability offers. If you want to see a video of me making my notes, make sure you click this video right now as I show you guys step by step how I make my neat notes for medical school. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in a new video next time. Bye!